So here is another picture of a neuron um, with all the components I drew before. Um, nucleolus is a different one, right, inside the nucleus. Um, and here, this would be in the PNS because they're Schwann cells that make up this myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is this entire thing, also called myelin, um, and you can see there's gaps in between there or nodes. So we will see these more in detail. I'll just tell you now, they're called nodes of Ranvier. They're gonna be important. Um, let's look at a cross section of what's happening here. So this again is a peripheral nervous system. In the CNS, it would be oligodendrocytes that do something similar. And these are actually surrounding the axon. So here is the axon. This is the Schwann cell that actually physically surrounds and insulates the axon. So these are all individual Schwann cells. This is what it looks like in a um, electron micrograph, so a real picture. Here's the axon of the neuron. And then the myelin sheath is like insulation. And it's going to be insulating, um, kind of like an electrical wire would have insulation as well. It's gonna actually keep the electrical signal um, moving faster. Yeah, so that's the function, um, which I think I'm saying again here. Yeah, let me draw you here, um, picture here. Here's a multipolar neuron. We've got our dendrites with an incoming signal. Typically chemical, and we're gonna, gonna have an action potential, which is our electrical signal, travel this way towards our axon terminal, where we're gonna have um, a synapse with something else. Let's, uh, that's not your book anymore. We can add a myelin sheath to this. So here is myelin, our myelin sheath composed of either oligodendrocytes or Schwann cells. And what our electrical signal is going to do is um, jump from one of these nodes to another. So we'll see this next week. This is going to be called saltatory conduction. Salt, saltar, um, it means jump. So jumping conduction, electrical signal conducting, and it's because of this insulation. All right, so that's probably the, the neuroglial cell we'll talk about the C the most is going to be the ones that produce the myelin sheath. And primarily we'll see it in the PNS with these um, in the examples. So Schwann cells, oligodendrocytes do the same thing in our CNS.